In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you something useful if you want to make a contacts or communication app, and that is how to make phone calls in Android. Start by going to the Android manifest uh, file underneath the manifest folder. And the reason for this is because we want to request permission in order to uh, make the phone call. If you don't know about Android manifest, I recommend that you check out my video on re uh, requesting permissions. It's uh, another tutorial that I have. But now we're going to say use this permission. And for the name, that's basically going to be the permission that we want, which is call phone. Now that we have that, we're going to head on over to mainactuate.java. And if you're wondering what this bit of code is over here is I created a little card view. Uh, I have another tutorial on that, so make sure to check it out. But this card view serves as a button because I want to be able to press the button and then it asks uh, if I want to make the phone call. I don't want it to make the phone call in the on create right when the app is launched. The way that we're going to make the phone call is by using an intent, which I've covered in a previous tutorial. I've provided a link to that in the information section above. To create the intent, we say intent and we can call it call intent. Now we're going to create the constructor uh, for the intent and inside I'm going to say intent.actionCall and this is specifying that uh, the type of intent that we have is a calling intent. Now I'm going to do something important by saying call intent.setData and what the purpose of this is is to um, provide the phone number that we want to call. For the pr uh, purposes of demonstrating the app and how to make a phone call, I'm just going to provide a random phone number to show that the app is trying to call that. I don't think it's a real phone number though. Finally, um, before I actually place the call, I want to check whether the app even has permission, whether the user granted the permission. So I'm going to say uh, if activity compat dot check um, self permission. If you do command P, you can see we're deprived context. I'm going to say get application context. And now we're deprived the permission as a string. Manifest dot permission, manifest dot permission dot call phone. We want to check if the permission has not been granted. So if not equal to um, package manager, package manager dot permission, uh, not permission, dot uh, permission granted. Then if it's not granted, what we want to do is request the permission. And the way that we do that is by saying activity compat dot request permission. If you do command P once again, you can see the parameters. One of them is our class, so main activity dot this. And um, it's asking for a string array of, uh, of permissions, so a new string. And now I am going to put the, um, the elements into this array by saying manifest.permission.callphone. And finally, the last thing that I have to provide is a request code. If you're wondering what a request code is, is it's, uh, it's basically used in an overridden method called on request permission res uh, results. And you can use that to process what the user responded to when they were asked uh, to grant permission. Uh, so I covered the if case where it's not granted. Now in the case that it actually is granted, all I have to do is just basically um, start the activity, um, start that intent by saying start activity, and then calling start activity, and then calling the intent, which is call intent. Now I'm going to run this. When I tap on my card view, you can see that it's asking for permission. If I click deny then it knows that the permission was denied. So once again, when I click on here, it's going to request permission because it knows that the permission had not been granted. Finally, if I do grant permission by clicking allow and I tap again, it should make the phone call. And as you can see, it's starting to call um, this random phone number and I'm going to end the call. I hope that you found this tutorial useful and now you know how to place calls in your Android app. If you have any questions, comment down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.